Hi there, welcome to Shippo. Let's walk through how to create a label in Shippo. So here we are on the orders page. I've got my order for Hungry is Tippo. Looks like he needs a label, so let's create a label for him. So the first step is putting in the package information. The address information is already going to be in there, but you can double check it. If you want to ship in a USPS flat rate box, for example, or if you've added FedEx and you want to ship in a one rate box, you can click here and choose that box from the list. Keep in mind that all these boxes have special rates attached to them, so unless it's actually a flat rate box, which is the specific price, you wouldn't need to use that. For any other packaging other than those box types, just go ahead and put in the dimensions. I can change that to centimeters if I like. Putting in the weight, I can also change that from pounds to ounces to grams to kilograms. If I'm shipping this tomorrow, which I think I'll put it in the mail tomorrow, I can go ahead and select the 15th there. I can also buy insurance for my package. Please note it does say here this is Shippo's third party insurance via Shipsurance. So when you put a number in that box, you're buying insurance through Shipsurance, not through the carrier. Definitely recommend checking out the insurance terms as well if you do plan on using Shipsurance. You can add signature confirmation to your package. You can um, create return labels as well. And that flag is defaulted in Shippo, just means that you're shipping it to a house instead of a business. If you know that you're shipping to a business, you can go ahead and uncheck that there. So let's select shipping rates here, searching for the best rate. And here you go. So I only have USPS activated as a carrier, so I'm only seeing USPS rates. Scroll down here to see the whole array. A couple of these have terms apply on there. When you see that, it's important to just check it out just because certain rate types, even though they're the cheapest, they may have some restrictions like you have to be qualified institution to use library mail, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and pick first class. That sounds like a good option. Click buy label. And there it is. There's my shipping label. I can go ahead and download it. There's the label ready for me to print. I can go back, I can send notification to the customer, so um, Hungriest Hippo here knows that his package is on its way. And if I go to the shipments page, I'll see my label right there to Hungriest Hippo.